Hello everyone, my name is Silverweed and welcome back to the Isle. I'm very excited to be back because guess what? The Isle is saved. Their new update was released and they put back sandbox mode. As you can see here, there are several sandbox servers. So we can go ahead and choose whatever dinosaur we want to be again, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm really, I'm honestly really, really pumped for this because they did add some new dinosaurs too. And now we can go ahead and just pick like whatever we want to be. Uh, this one looks to be having a lot of people, so we're going to try it. Just look at that. Look at the graphics here. And we have the old screen right back here. The one that I really like. Because I like, think it looks so much smoother than the other one. Uh, but we got several new ones. We got here the Acro Pantharas. And not that. <laughs> Uh, the Utah Raptor, which is this like more kind of Jurassic Park Raptor kind of thing. And we got a herbivore, uh, a carnivore version of the Dryosaurus. And we got a Bara Bar Barunax, Barunax. But I think that we're gonna go with the big guy down here, the Acrocanthorus. Uh, because I actually have a very specific idea for what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna be like all autonomous Rex kind of creature. Uh, there are a few bugs when you spawn. But that's also it. But look at this creature. Isn't it just magnificent? I think this one is really nice. It's kind of dark now, so you can't possibly see. But uh, it's really nice lines are Very big. And brutal. But I actually have an idea, like I told you. I did this before and it worked perfectly. Today, I'm gonna be... A crocodile because this water right here due to the new update you can actually go into the water all the way down and basically just live here if you wanted to so what I did when I just got on and saw the sandbox go back was that I got up here I was sneaking so no one would hear me and I got up here got as far up as I could here my spines are slightly sticking up and there was an allosaurus on the shore and I got it. I just ran up and just bit onto it and it was like bleeding all of a sudden and I just died right there. I was so quick to just kill that thing. I wish I would have recorded it because it was glorious. You will not believe how amazing it was. Uh, but it looks like it's getting day now. So the quest today is gonna be be a crocodile and find prey. Because it's not an easy task because uh, we could be miles away from other people but we're gonna stay down here. And hope that no one spots us, and then we're gonna run around and see if we can find someone or if someone spawns like we did here. So it's gonna take some time, but I wanna try and do that because it's really fun. It's a really nice dinosaur, I really like it because of the way the mouth also kind of tilts down. And there's these menacing eyes and the spikes. He almost looks like he is kind of blind when he's albino like this. Also, the cool, cool part about this one is that it kind of has the red kind of shade to it. So it's really like you get that idea of okay, this is an albino compared to the Rex that's just a white Rex. But this one is a pure albino which makes it look that more ferocious. Uh, so far nothing has turned up but we're not gonna get up. We also have to be careful that other crocodiles aren't looking around down here because they can. And they could come run up on us and snatch us from behind. So we're gonna try to avoid that and keep an eye out for anything. This is really a game of patience. If you look to the crocodiles in the real world, they have to have immense patience to actually catch some prey. So we have to be very, very quiet. And very, very patient until that golden moment arrives where we can snatch something that comes too close to the water for a drink in order to survive. That's the upside to being a marine hunter, because all creatures need water, so they will come down here eventually, and we will be waiting for them, no matter how long it takes. Because we need the food to survive, and we're gonna snatch them right off the shore. Patience, agility, and accurate, 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 being accurate, accurate, can you say occurrence, I don't know, doesn't matter, you know what I mean, so we must dwell into 
for the existence of this Acrocantorus, which is probably not strong. And I actually sneak up on unsuspecting prey. I can't see if that's a plant or if that's a dinosaur. We'll be very quiet because we're getting hungry and we'll snatch whatever we find right off the beach. Let's see what that is. Might just be a log. Oh, there's something moving down there. Can you smell it? I think I saw something moving. They won't suspect the thing. They look small so I can snatch them up in one bite. Okay, now we're getting a little anxious. But we will be patient and slowly close in on the prey. Or unsuspecting. And I think they're even lying down which gives us the upper hand. Shh. Alright, I think I would definitely have something here. The Acrocanthorus is closing in on its unsuspecting prey. Which might be a rock, but I think it's a creature. It'll be very, very steady. And it starts to look more and more like a rock. <laughs> but it'll still be steady. Because I think I saw something behind the rock, maybe. Alright. Steady does it. Don't see anything else around. Alright. That's definitely a rock. But I think I saw a small something run behind the rock. I can't be sure though. But maybe. So now we will approach very steadily with a small dinosaur feet. And a beautiful shadow. Bottom of the ocean. I won't suspect anything. It'll be very, very quiet as we get closer and discover that it's a tree and a rock. All of it is freaking stones. Wow. Great. Moving on. <laughs> the Ancanathor. <laughs> Acrothacanthorus. We'll slowly skulk on until we find something that's actually eatable. As long as it doesn't get too dark, because then I won't be able to see them either. I kind of wish they would incorporate some kind of predator vision, because some pred most predators see better at night time, so that you'll be able to see better. Oh, there's something! Damn it, it's in the water, I think. It's in the water so it can see me. Well, it's, it's co coming right for me. It's getting dark now. It's coming right for me. I can't see anything. I can see nothing. I can see the sky. And my butt. And my head. Alright, that's perfectly normal. It looks cool to some extent, but it's also it's really dark. Oh, 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 small one, small one. But that's the one I think that saw me. So, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Is that something out there? Alright, I just sneak out. I think I see a little dot of something. It could be a plant. Is it moving? Might be something. Okay, there's definitely small critters down here moving. So, let's see if we can get close enough to grab them. Small one there spotted me, so I don't think we're gonna count on him. But he's running across now. I think these are in the water too. No, no, no. This one is definitely outside of the water. 
Did it run off? I don't see anything now. I don't see- I, I can't- I'm, I'm trying- I'm looking and I'm just- What is this? I can't- I- Oh, there- there- there it is. What is it? Is it just a tree? Or a piece of rock? Or a dinosaur? Could be all three at this point. I uh, can't really tell. I think that's something alive. The, the friend of it is definitely alive, I think. No, that's 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 a that's a piece of wood. That's I don't know! Why did it have to make it look so like it's it's existing? Okay, both of these might just be freaking wood. Oh my god. Goodness, I hate these things. They do it. They did it the last time too. They make it look like something. The rocks look like Triceratops sleeping. And this looks like critters sleeping. Oh, it's actually... It's... It's... It's butts. It's dinosaur butts. Don't make noise. Sorry. They're dead already. There's something alive here. These are carcasses. Alright, I like a little more now. We're running out of deep water. Oh, I hear something. I hear something, I hear something. Where is it coming from? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, big one, big one. I'm gonna sneak down here. Get deeper than this? Where does the deep water start? Here. What's that? I think I see an opportunity. Look at that small one right there. Do you think we're gonna make it? Are we close enough? I think we might be able to snatch that right off the. I'm going, going forward. Oh, it's running up. No, come back. Come back down here. Hey, do you want a drink? <laughs> come on down here. Come on down here. It's hard to see, but they're up there. Maybe they're hungry over here. Yes, go to the food. Yes, this one. Oh, they're so close. They're going for the food. Oh, they're running down. Oh, they're running up. Oh, the small one is haunting the smaller one, but now he's he's roaring and eating the food. Just go back and eat the dead carcass right there. Go back and eat that. Then I'm gonna come hug you, okay? Oh, he's going back. <laughs> oh, this might be our chance. Oh, oh god. Okay, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yes, 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 yes. Stay and eat it. <sighs> Stay and eat it. The kind of thought is closing down its brain. I wish they could be. Moving in. Moving out of its brain. Going. I got it. I got it. I got it. Attacking me! Attacking it right back. Now it's bleeding. The Arcanothaurus finishes its prey! <laughs> oh, that was cool! Oh, I told you, it's the most satisfying thing ever when you do it! When you finally get it! It's two! But now I'm bleeding pretty badly, but it's okay. That, that small baby T-Rex right there! Didn't see a thing. Didn't see a freaking thing. Right there. Right there. It was hungry, it was going with it. Oh, and I came right there! I'm sorry, that is so cool. Like, that you can... It, it took a lot of time. I don't, I've probably been playing for like half an hour or something, which isn't even that much. But it's just like... When you get it right, it's just it's so cool. Because 
they don't see you is such a cool technique and you really feel like you're a freaking crocodile just <sighs> eating prey. And I probably should feel a little bit of remorse for killing a baby T-Rex. And I kind of do. Because I'm not even going to eat it. And I killed that one too. That one was just trying to commit suicide. Or maybe it was friends with the other one. I don't know. It's all weird. Uh, but that was really... <laughs> Really, really cool! I kind of want to end this recording right here just to make sure that it saved it because that was so cool! Unbelievably awesome! Uh, I think this is a really cool way to play the game. It's like, it's my little, it's always what I've dreamed about because the water in the previous updates were just see through so you couldn't see. But here, they can't see anything. Like, they, the sightness, you can't even see through uh, this water only when you're really close like that. And that's almost when you're hitting the surface, so they don't suspect a thing, and you just come and you snatch it. And I got that baby T-Rex right there, and it was hurt right there, so it couldn't move, and then I could just finish it. Because it's, oh, it's so cool. I'm sorry, I feel terrible for saying this, but I really never play as Carnival. But when I do, I do it this way, because it's so, you get, just, you, you get it, you get it right. You just go down, you hit it. Uh, so I am gonna end this episode right here, I think, because I want to make sure I get it. Although those baby, baby T-Rex are coming close right here, but that's okay, I, I got my kill right there. Maybe he's just checking out if I'm weak prey or nothing. Instead of war, I can make sure he doesn't think so. Let's see if we can scare him off. Yeah, he's not, he's not <laughs> gonna be a problem. But that was really nice. I think it's so cool that like, the, the, the aisle is back and I'm so excited about this. Please leave a like if you'd like to see more videos. I'm definitely going to come up with some new ideas. If you have any ideas of how I should play, please let me know down in the comment section. I would love to execute it in the game. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.